So if you watched the last video, this one, we figured out what was actually wrong with the turbo. It did take a little bit to get the turbo taken care of, but uh, the old one sat up here. Where is it? Yeah. The old one sat up here, and this was actually the reverse mirrored version of the exact same turbo that we had. So uh, the customer was sent the wrong turbo. The guy that made, makes the kit handled everything great, took care of us. We got the correct turbo. Now it's in. And the next thing is going to be doing the fab work for the intercooler piping, the radiator, and getting all of that stuff set in there before we can kind of finalize the rest of the easy stuff on it, which is bolting on accessories and coil packs and all that. We have the water to air intercooler. If you haven't seen one of these, it's got two outlets, one on each side for cold water to be pushed in and back out to a external pump and reservoir. Um, this is so that we can have the intercooler and the turbo piping and everything in the engine bay. The radiator and the AC condenser and everything can be up here where they should be and we'll have good airflow there just to keep the engine cool and because this is still going to be a cruiser daily driver well maybe not daily driver but something with ac and power steering and all that stuff so i have the box and everything in here because we're, we need to figure out where we're going to be mounting this um, positioning i kind of like the idea of it being more like this where it's kind of even and straight with the engine. Um, but it would be a little easier to have this turned towards the intake manifold. Uh, I'm gonna have Fred here and me and Fred will go over and figure out how beauty we want it to be or functional. Uh, the next thing we gotta do is I'm going to make a bracket to go to the three points. There's one on the back here too. Uh, the bracket is going to support this, which it's aluminum, yes, um, but the core is very heavy. So this is not a light piece. So the bracket's going to have to be very stout and I'm probably going to mount the bracket to the transmission. The reason being is then the piping and everything will move with the engine instead of separate of the engine where this isn't moving at all and the engine's torquing back and forth. So if we can't mount it to the transmission, then we can't mount it to the transmission, but that's the goal. Uh, the radiator is a tucked Chase Bays radiator. So it'll give us a lot more room here um, and it'll also help move it further away from the heat source. And then we also have a oil cooler just cause with turbos, oil temperature is always a big thing. Um, but yeah, so getting that mounted, getting the piping ran, the radiator figured out because it's still going to be a different mounting uh, set with how they have the radiator over there. Um, yeah, because we finally got the correct turbo. It's no longer sitting up here, as you saw. Now the downpipe actually fits and everything, which is good. So we're on to the next step. This is where I'm sitting right now with the bracket I'm gonna make for this. Uh, it's definitely not where I want it to be, but like I said, I need to figure out what orientation the intercooler is going to sit in there. So this is just the point that is going to hold the intercooler. And then we're gonna do, you know, whatever tabs or things coming off of it to where we need to go. I also wanted to leave the extra material here because it would look prettier being trimmed down and everything, but if I'm gonna run a tab off of this corner, I need somewhere to put it. So I'm gonna put this over there, just make sure that that will decently fit there, and then we'll start working on the radiator until me and Fred can figure out what's pretty or not. Doing the tucked radiator, the Chase Bays one, it's meant to come in here, and granted, you know, like tucked radiators normally don't get AC because you're trying to hide everything, uh, but we're going to be using AC this is where it normally would sit for the AC condenser. I took off the rubber grommets for me to test stuff, but it would normally sit, you know, where there's a good distance in between the T bracket and the condenser. But this doesn't have a lot of room when in with the radiator. 
So I want to try to move it as far back as possible, which will probably just be drilling some holes and moving this closer so that it's almost touching the T-bracket. And dropping it down in here, we'll be able to move it a little further out as well here. So I'm just gonna let this sit kind of up there and we'll see how the radiator fits. Well, that's decent there. So obviously without the condenser, it would sit a lot further back, but like I said, we're gonna put AC in this and I wanna use a full condenser. I think this is probably what we're gonna have to do. I'm pretty sure putting the condenser up here, like in front of the T-bracket, one, in front of the T-bracket is also where the hood latch goes, so that's not gonna work. And two, we still have the crash bar and everything that goes under the bumper. And even if we did a half one, like a one from like a earlier Civic or something like that, the T-bar is dead center, so either way it's still going to be restrictive. got my holes moved. So we're gonna set this in, and the next thing would be if I can actually use the upper bracket. And there is daylight in between that. It might not look like it to you, but if I had a piece of paper, it'd fit. Ooh, yeah, that needs some mighty fine adjustment. We got like is that an extra inch and a half, maybe two gap because of the bracket. Before I modify the top bracket for the condenser, because that's where we want it to sit. I'm gonna now try and figure out how we're gonna put the radiator in. Oh, sure. You're squared, like so, or tilted. No, it needs, I think it should be straight. Okay this far over makes the uh, use that we have for the three inch. So we have it roughed in where we want it. We're gonna take some tabs off of the core support here. That way we can just drill a hole in this and that will be the mounting point for it. Same on the other side. And then somehow I'm probably going to take this and move this tab back. That way we can still use the factory holes and this will sit on there with the, uh, the rubber mounting. So also, me and Fred talked and we're going to mount the intercooler squared. Uh, because I'm going to have the intercooler also further off to this side, I'm going to have it mounted to the actual chassis instead of the engine like we originally planned. Just because if we moved it further towards the engine, uh, I'd have to do a lot of pie cuts and everything and if we're going for flow and we're actually going for power with this, not just a show car, um, I don't wanna have any kind of turbulence build up in there. So we're just gonna use some nice smooth bends to go from the turbo up and then a bend into the intercooler. And then we might just do a coupler coming out of the intercooler to head towards the actual throttle body. And that might just be a straight tube. Although I think it'll be nice for this car because he'll get a lot of fast response because we'll have less than four feet of actual piping between the turbo and the throttle body, where most of the time when you do a turbo front wheel drive, you have eight to 10 feet of intercooler piping in there. Now we're going to mount this, and like I said, it's going to be on the chassis. So the mounting is gonna be a lot easier um, since we're doing that. And while I'm kind of playing with it, I'll be throwing pipes up next to it to kind of get an idea of how everything's going to flow into it for when we actually finish this. I'm just trying to get the, uh, essentially the stuff that it's sitting on right now to where we need it. So then I can actually start measuring how far everything needs to be. I think I'm gonna cut a few random pieces of cardboard and just see how I like the fit. Cause as of right now, for me to get that sitting where I want it, uh, the bolt holes that I'm going to be using are covered. I think that'll, that'll sit well, and when it's made out of something other than cardboard, it should support the weight. 
So now that I have the cardboard into metal, um, we actually went with aluminum on this one, so we're gonna see how this works. I wanna get this on here and kind of mocked up, and then I'm gonna mark it so I know that's where that needs to go. We're gonna tack it. Um, I'm gonna twist these so that they sit straight instead of crooked like that. And then hopefully, before the end of the day, we'll be starting on the tubing, the intercooler piping for it. Now we're going to see how this sits in here and where we want it to be. Let me just mark. Then we'll go tack it and see how we like it. Actually, you can thank uh, Steve, our cameraman and the guy that makes all the videos for you guys to watch. Uh, we were talking about transferring the bolt holes that we have to put on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark where this is. We're going to put tape over the entire thing, mark the tape, stab the holes, and then transfer the tape, and now we know where the holes are. Brilliant. Now that this fits where we want it, holds itself up, we're happy with it. I'm gonna weld it all together so that the bracket is finished and then we'll bolt it back up and start making all the plumbing or tubes for it. So I got it all welded together. Um, it's been a little bit since I did aluminum, but I think it looks good. All right. I like it. Looking at the, uh, we'll call this the cold pipe because this is technically the hot pipe. This will probably work pretty good. I think with this and then maybe another 45 down there, we can have the cold pipe done. And then the only thing I gotta do is put the uh, blow off valve in it. Let me grab the uh, other 45 and we'll just see what we're looking at. Well, it's pretty close. I think I'll trim this one about the same as I trimmed the other one for the turn. And then we'll see where we want them to actually meet in the middle and cut there. little trimming, but now it fits fine. So I marked it. I'm gonna go tack this together. Um, and honestly, well, I'll tack it together and just make sure that it still fits once it's tacked. And then I'll weld it. We might weld that on today, we might not, but we'll get the other side started. That way we have tubing. And that's all we're looking for right now is tubing. So I think I'll be able to make this work. And I mean, when you're doing something like this or you know anything with airflow, be it exhaust or intake, you wanna try to be as smooth bends as possible. So pie cuts might be pretty, but they're not smooth. So you won't have as much power from a pie cut piece from versus a smooth piece. So I think we can make it work. I'm gonna start chopping these up. About there, can you mark the um, this one? Yeah, we're gonna do rough. And I'm probably gonna leave a little bit of meat on the bone and just see what happens. Well, it fits pretty good. I think it's gonna be real close to the radiator, but we'll have to see. I can always adjust it if I need to, but I think this is a good spot. So I'm gonna weld up the pipe. All right. Yeah, Brandon looking competent for once. Uh, the only thing is, uh, I was gonna ask you, Fred, before we finish out the video here, um, the, no, we're not doing quick disconnects. The blow off valve here, I was thinking either in the center or closer to the throttle body, but like still in the straight line. Um, I'll do that, we'll do that in the next video, but that's just something that we're gonna think about. Um, we're gonna get the right couplers, we're gonna get some clamps for it. Um, that way this all looks nice. We can actually have it fitted on there. Uh, we're gonna do the radiator in the condenser in the next video. 
Um, I gotta order all the stuff for the accessories to be on. We're gonna be doing the uh, distributor, well, coil pack sit kit. So we're gonna do that. And then we're talking about doing some stuff with the radiator hoses and all that. So there will be more videos coming out and they're gonna be a lot sooner than the last stent we had. We're making excuses. Ha, 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 ha.